Before considering in more detail how Enterprise Vault works and what it does, let's answer this question, why archive with Enterprise Vault? Well, there are four main reasons which I want to look at now. The first one is storage management. So the target systems that Enterprise Vault supports, which is Microsoft Exchange, SharePoint, Windows File Servers and IBM Domino, what's happening is that there's just more and more stuff being put into those end-user systems. So if you take Microsoft Exchange, the number of emails that people receive is, is growing all the time. Users don't delete those emails, so you've just got more and more emails on your email server. What this leads to is that Microsoft Exchange becomes slower and slower. So the administrator can take action. For instance, they could use quotas to force users to either archive emails to PST files or delete them. Otherwise, they just need to add more and more storage to their email server, which gets slower and slower. So the idea with Enterprise Vault is that we archive stuff out of the target systems into Enterprise Vault where we could use cheaper archive storage to store those emails or files. The result is that the storage on our target systems goes down. So storage management is one of the really important reasons why people install Enterprise Vault to this day. But there are other reasons. Companies are facing legal cases, and when companies face legal cases, they have to go through something called legal discovery. Previously, this would have been just going through paper files, but now legal discovery includes electronic files as well, and emails. Then that can be a real burden to companies. If they suddenly have a legal case and need to produce every single document, every single email associated with that case. What they need to do is to get everything out of their electronic systems. So if we take email, they would need to get all their backup tapes for all their email systems and need to restore them and then search for all those emails, which is a really onerous. So an alternative is to archive. We can do something called what we call journal archiving, which is basically archiving every single email that's sent and received with various tools that are available with Enterprise Vault, you can search those archives and find very quickly all the electronic files associated with that case. The third reason is compliance. So in certain countries, particularly United States, there are regulations where companies have to provide evidence that they are compliant. This can be very onerous once again. A lot of it's based on email. So, for instance, there are laws in the US that require companies to prove that dealers and brokers are not sharing information about what customers are doing. One way of doing this is to use email archiving uh, and ent Enterprise Vault as an underlying architecture so that you can sample the emails every day of, of, of your users that you need to confirm are, are being compliant. And then to do something called supervisory review, which means compliance officers will go through and look at those emails and see whether users are doing stuff they shouldn't be doing. The fourth and final reason is user convenience. Users hate managing and searching for data. And with email, particularly if you've got PST files, it can become very onerous. By having an email archiving system, you can rely on the fact that everything is archived. So from both Microsoft Exchange and you can also import PST files into Enterprise Vault as well. So you know everything is archived and then you can find it very easy because of very good search features that are available within Enterprise Vault. So in summary, four different reasons for archiving with Enterprise Vault. The first one, storage management. Second one, e-discovery. The third one, compliance. And then this one, user convenience.